Hey there, welcome back to the vlog. Today I want to talk about Fitz Law. So I work with both Windows and Mac. I like them both for various reasons and I dislike them both for various reasons. Uh, there's no perfect solution as far as I'm concerned when it comes to a computer. However, there are certain traits that I do find, you know, sometimes things will stick out that I'm like, I wish the other side had this. And this is where Fitz Law comes in. There is an argument uh, that sometimes floats around that it is quicker to use a Mac than it is to use Windows. I kind of agree in a roundabout way and yeah, I know this is going to cause an argument. So <laughs> it's, I'm bracing myself here for a lot of backlash. But there is this thing called Fitz Law and the formula is on the screen right now. What it's basically saying is that the time that it takes to move your cursor from where it is to something that you wish to click on is basically it's a function of both the distance you have to move as well as the size of the thing you're trying to click on. What this basically means in layman's terms is, you know, if I put a cursor in the center of the screen and I have a very large object which I want to click on, I can probably do that pretty quickly. If I have an equally large object a bit further away, it might take me a medium amount of time to click on that. Conversely, if I have a small item that's very close to the cursor, I can probably get to that quickly. But if I've got a small object that's far away from the cursor, it's going to take me a long time. It's going to be a slow process of getting over there and then being able to click directly on that object. And that's where Fitz Law comes into this. So what I wanted to point out was something that Mac has and Windows have, and I both wish that the other one also had it. I have a habit of normally having one window open at a time, and it's in full screen, normally. Under Windows, this is almost universal. Under Mac, I do sometimes have things slightly overlapped and whatnot. But as a general rule, under Windows, I have things maximized, and there's a reason for this. And again, it comes back to Fitz Law. I like to move quickly under Windows, and I don't want to get held up by the user interface. So, you know, by maximizing stuff, I know that I'm going to be able to do things like, for instance, I can just like slam my cursor down into the start button. I know that I don't have to be accurate with where I'm going. I just have to go randomly in the you know, direction of that button. I'm either going to hit the side of the screen and go down, or I'm going to hit the bottom of the screen and go along. But ultimately, I'm going to end up in that area, and then I just click where I land. Conversely, if I want to close a window, I just go up into that corner, and I don't have to worry about if I hit the top of the screen or the side of the screen. I know that whichever side I hit first, ultimately I'm going to end up on that very last pixel. And I know that that last pixel will close the window. And the reason for this is it's effectively an infinitely large button. You know, like I, it doesn't really matter how I get to it. I will always somehow magically end up on that button. Now, that's great under Windows. However, Mac is missing that close button on that side and this is something that just infuriates me sometimes. I really wish that they, they put something up at the very very top in the right hand corner just to be able to close the button you know by whizzing your mouse up there. Having said that the Mac also uses Fitz Law for something which I generally find quicker which I wish Windows had. On a Mac we have the menu at the very very top of the screen which basically means if you want to hit something on the menu, you've got an infinitely tall menu that you're aiming for because you just throw the cursor up towards the top, it hits the top of the screen. It doesn't matter if it was going to go over by a couple of pixels or if it was going to go you know, miles beyond it, it's still going to hit the menu. The menu is effectively, from a user standpoint, infinitely tall. You can't miss it. <laughs> Like, so that, that's why you know, people often argue that it's quicker to work on a Mac because people spend more time using menus than what they do opening and closing windows. But you know, for me, that definitely does hold true. I, I'm, I'm in the menus more than I'm, I'm doing anything <laughs> elsewhere. So that's where, where the Fitz Law thing comes in. However, this whole design ethos then causes other problems. Like it's not a perfect solution. For instance, if you've got a menu on one screen and you've got multiple screens, then where do the menus go? Like you end up losing the infinitely large close button if there's another monitor beyond it. Because as soon as you go up and you whiz along, you're going to end up on the next monitor. Because I'm working normally on one monitor, I do think about this on a regular basis. And I really wish that both of the systems had the thing that the other one does. I really wish that on a Windows machine, I could take the menu and put it at the very, very top of the screen so it's disconnected from the window and conversely I really wish that you know on the Mac I could take the close button and throw it up in the top corner where the notification button is that nobody ever hits or if you do hit it it's like once or twice a day and by doing that I'd be able to just throw the cursor up into the corner and know that I will always hit 
that you know on a trackpad it, it can be a bit more difficult than using a mouse sometimes but if the mac was to put the button up there then i would always hit that as well so that's something that i don't think many people ever give a thought to but once you realize that that's what you're actually relying on a lot you tend to notice it especially if you're working in both windows and mac and you're constantly switching between the two it comes up as one of those things that eventually you do realize that you're relying on this sort of laziness that I can just hit a infinitely large object, but you don't realize that you're actually aiming for an infinitely large object and not caring about it until you don't have it. So anyway, that's it for today. If you like these videos, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye.